and we have some exciting news. We are headed to the Angel City season opener for a soccer game and we're going with, where are you? My boyfriend! This is Rocky everyone. Say hi Rocky. Hi Rocky. So we're gonna take you along on this week of fun. We have soccer games, we have comedy shows, we have musicals, jam-packed week. So first stop, my dad is heading over and we are gonna go to the soccer game and there's a fan fest beforehand so we're gonna go to that. So let's head out. Let's go. Our train's here. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. We've got some food trucks. Ooh, some more food trucks. Might have to go here. Do you need a shirt? I already have a shirt. Dad, do you need a shirt? Yay, food time. We've got fries, we've got plantains, and some sliders. Dad loves sprouts. He said, get my photo. Oh, missed. Bank of California Stadium. Nice. Come on, girls. It's the next day. I still have on my Angel City shirt, but we won two to one. So really fun time. We took public transportation with my dad. So experimented with that a little bit, saved us some money on parking. So we'll probably do that next time. Uh, Rocky and I are both feeling a bit under the weather today. We're a little sniffly, so nothing to be worried about. He took a COVID test, so we're good. So just trying to, to stave off the the sneezes and the sniffles. But right now we're just gonna go for a nice walk and then later we're gonna go to the movies. So let's check that out. Just got boba. I got a peach and passion fruit popping boba, which I've never had before. Have you ever had popping boba? I've um, not. It's pretty interesting. It, uh, it pops in your mouth. So accurate, pretty good. So now we're gonna keep walking. Such a beautiful day in LA. Gosh, I will never get sick of these palm tree lined streets. Strawberry honey balsamic and black pepper, excuse me. <laughs> All right, what did you get for ice cream? It's milk tea and something, something, something. I think chocolate and stracciatella. How is it? Take a bite. Uh, good. Good? Okay. <laughs> Had a nice three hour long walk, which was really cool. We got boba, which was tasty. We also got some ice cream, which was pretty delicious. And then we walked around and sight saw at all the rich, expensive people houses. Golly, do you, he is disassembling a dresser outside, sorry. So now we are home, showered, and somewhat ready. We're gonna go out to dinner, and then we're gonna go see 
everything everywhere all at once that new multiverse movie so excited for that and for dinner we're gonna go to this place called the public house which looks cute and like school themed so let's go check that out also if you hear smashing in the background this is what's going on i just couldn't wait So this is public school themed, super cute. They've got lockers and books, love the branding. They even have a wall of microscopes, so adorable. Oh my God, they have board games. What should we pick? We went with Battleship. Some fries to start. My review of Public School 213, super cute, super on theme. They have dartboards, but I think you have to pay for them. But the branding was excellent. The food was pretty good and I'd recommend it. So if you're ever in downtown LA, check this out. So now we're gonna go see our movie, Everything Everywhere All At Once. Everything Everywhere All At Once. Oh, that was a good shot because it just now turned to Everything Everywhere All At Once. Hi friends, it is the next day and we had a really fun night. We went to that public house bar, which was super cute and themed. I actually picked that place because of how cute and themed it was on Yelp. And one of the main deciding reasons was because their menus were of composition books um, and they didn't have that anymore, but it was still like super cutely decorated and very on brand, so that was fun. After dinner, we went to see the movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Holy moly, go see it. It was absolutely incredible. I think it was branded as like a superhero movie and it wasn't a superhero movie. It was definitely like a sci-fi action um, mixed with some sort of like spiritual awakening. It was absolutely incredible. We both loved it. Love, 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 loved it. Um, and then afterwards we were gonna go bar hopping but we're both still feeling like a little under the weather, just not that great. So we're like, let's just go to CVS, buy a bunch of junk food, and then we came back here and just watched some movies. So that was super fun, just kind of relaxing for the night, nothing super crazy. So for today, we actually slept in till noon cause we stayed up really late watching movies. Um, and again, cause we're both not feeling super 100% yet. So it's still, it's like now one in the afternoon. So again, very late start to the day, but today we're gonna go for an LA food tour. Now I'm probably gonna do a main channel video about this. So I might not take you onto every little thing for today specifically, but don't worry friends, we still have a whole week ahead of us in terms of events and activities that we'll be going to. So I'll still be taking you along, but just wanted to give you the update on what we thought of the movie because holy moly, I don't know when you guys will be seeing this vlog, but if it is still in theaters, go see it. It was, it was so good. Probably my favorite movie I've seen all year. So definitely recommend, but I'll see you soon. It's a couple of days later and we have had just a few chill couple of days because starting today, all of our activities and events are ramping up. So it's actually super funny. Um, two days ago, I had a content day for another video on my main channel where I go through how I batch all of my content in one day. So Rocky helped me out with that. So that was kind of fun. And then at night we were like, oh, like I'm tired. But that movie that we saw, Everything Everywhere All at Once was so good. You wanna see it again? <laughs> so we went and saw the same movie again and it was just as amazing the second time. Um, highly recommend. And then yesterday we just had a working day where we were just both on our computers all day. And then we watched um, some movies at night and just kind of kept it chill. Today, however, we have lots to do. So today we just worked a whole bunch and now we are headed out to dinner with Chad and Jenny and then off to another musical. Are you guys sick of my musicals yet? Too bad, it's a big part of my life. Tonight we are seeing the show Tootsie and my mom normally joins us, but my mom is really sick right now. So she couldn't join us. So Rocky is taking her spot. So we're gonna head over to the Arts District of LA and then we are gonna meet up with Chad and Jenny for dinner at a place called Father's Office, I believe. And then after that is our musical. So I'm going to get ready, get beautified, but of course make my latte so I have the caffeine. So let me get ready. Can we get a photo of you? Um. 
All right, I so know. I got cauliflower, which is spicy, like Middle Eastern spice, which is really good. Rocky got the father's office burger. That is a lot of spinach. You can't even see anything. Oh, it's arugula. We got Brussels sprouts, fries. Chad also got cauliflower and mushrooms. And then Jenny's food hasn't arrived yet. Just waiting on Jenny's. <laughs> It's the next day and I'm feeling rough. Um, not doing great, but we went and picked up some day quill, so hopefully this will kick in soon. I slept until 1 p.m. today because it just felt like my body got hit by a truck with this cold and I'm progressively getting worse, but Rocky's cold only lasted like three or four days. So hopefully mine is on the downswing where I'm on the road to recovery soon, but today's definitely the worst day. But last night was super fun. We went and saw Tootsie. Um, I give it a six out of 10, you know, not the worst show I've seen, but it was fun and enjoyable. Uh, the humor was a little bit like boomer humor is how I described it, but overall a really fun show and I just love musical theater. So that was nice to be able to share with Rocky as well as Chad and Jenny. Now for today, what we're doing is actually the main point of Rocky's trip. So Rocky, as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, is a comedian and Netflix is actually hosting this huge first one of its kind comedy festivals here in Los Angeles. So I believe it's like over 200 shows at 20 plus venues and it's just two weeks jam packed of all of these different comedy events. So there was like Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, David Letterman, all these big time names, all the way down to smaller comedians that if I named them, you probably would have no idea who I'm talking about. So we're actually going to our first of this comedy festival shows tonight at the Largo Theater in Beverly Hills, and we'll be seeing Neil Brennan. Neil Brennan is actually Dave Chappelle's writing partner. He's not a huge name on his own, but he does have the credits and he does have the humors that this will be a really fun show. So I just finished getting ready. Just kept it kind of simple today because I'm like, I don't feel like getting ready. And we already ate dinner here. We're not going to go out to dinner. So we're just going to head to the show. So let's go check it out. So we're here at the Coronet Theater or the Largo Theater. I think it's the same thing. Yes. Look, it's got this like indoor courtyard area for the bar. Super cool. Let's find our seats. Looks like a small theater. Oh yeah. So it's a very small theater, but I like how intimate it is. This will be really cool. I'm excited. Okay, we're back from uh, small. We're back from the show after seeing Neil Brennan. Brennan, how? Brennan. What'd you think? Neil Brennan, positive vibes. Good. It was really good. We saw in the crowd. I spotted John Mulaney, which is funny because we talked about. I think I said, "Oh, are we gonna see any celebrities in the crowd?" And Rocky said, "No, they'd be backstage." <laughs> But John Mulaney was Very in wrong. the crowd, yeah. um, and the show was really good. It was a good mix of comedy and drama. And what'd you think of the theater? We went to the Largo. It was great. Yeah. Really, was... really, uh, really cozy. You yeah. you were on top of it. Much it smaller theater, yes. Yeah. So really good show, um, very quick, and then we got hungry, so we stopped at Taco Bell. So we are now gonna eat Taco Bell, probably watch some more Netflix comedy specials, and prepare for tomorrow's show, which will be, can we sing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we see Bill Burr. Bill Burr. So we're gonna eat our Taco Bell and we'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully I'll feel better. <laughs> All right, next day and another show we're headed to, we are gonna go see Bill Burr at the Forum down in Inglewood. So Bill Burr is probably one of the most I guess famous comedians of all the comedians we'll be seeing for this festival specifically. So really excited for that, but we're actually headed out to go get sushi with some of Rocky's college friends. So that should be pretty fun. We'll see if I wanna stick a camera in their face and be like, smile, who knows, to be determined. So headed to sushi, here's the fit. I'm wearing a little puffy sleeve thing. Couldn't decide if I should go with blue jeans to keep it more casual or black jeans. I got boots on too. So here's the fit. So let's head to sushi and then I'll give you our review of Bill Burr. The same response, you say what you can about Emily, but these grass are holding. <laughs> 
it's the next day after seeing Bill Burr. So what's super interesting is they kind of took away our phones at the event because obviously the purpose of this whole Netflix festival is that they're filming it for Netflix specials in terms of comedy. And so with this show specifically, they didn't want us spoiling anything. So we walk in and there was a super long line. Like we had to wait in line for forever. And then they gave us this like sleeve that was kind of like almost magnetized at the top to where you couldn't open it as if it was like a security tag at Target. You know, like you have to go in to get it removed with their special machine. That's what it was like. So once they sealed up our phone, we couldn't get our phone until the show was over. So I couldn't get any photos, couldn't really get any videos in there, uh, but the show was really good. I think I preferred Neil Brennan over Bill Burr in terms of humor. Bill Burr was, it's actually kind of funny, Bill Burr was definitely more of a storyteller and was funny, whereas Neil Brennan told more jokes, if that makes sense. Uh, but they were both really good, so a good second show. Tonight we have kind of a pseudo show. It is the Netflix Comedy Festival Fan Fest, and I think it's gonna be more Netflix than comedy, but there's gonna be some, um, I think some live comedians performing. There's gonna be, I don't know, maybe some photo booths. We're not really sure, but it's a free event and I definitely wanna go and get some B-roll because I might do a main channel video on this. I'm not really sure. So gonna do that. But where I'm headed now is we are gonna go pick up my friend Jake from the airport. So my best friend Jake, another character unlocked because he is another um, big person in my life. He it lives in Denver. He's gonna be joining us for the rest of the weekend's activities. So I'm gonna pick him up from LAX, but I left a little early, you guys, because today is the last day to return this red dress. This red dress has been a saga in these past, I don't know how many episodes of my vlog, but I'm finally gonna return it and give it my 50 bucks because if I can't return it today, then I'm keeping it, it's too late. So we're gonna go return the dress to Zara, pick him up, try to stop at Walmart to return those things to Walmart. Golly, it's like, to be continued with all of my vlogs in terms of my errands because I just keep failing. Um, and then once we do that, we're gonna head back to my apartment, get ready, probably go out to dinner, go to this fan fest and see what is popping in Los Angeles. So that's what you missed. Although it's kind of like, now we've returned to the main plot of Return of This Stuff and my phone is falling. So let's go return to Zara. Editing JC here to let you know that I lost a couple of clips for some reason but I did return the red dress to Zara. Yay! So we got our $50 back. However, I went to go return those red smeared shorts and the colorful visor back to Walmart. However, the closest Walmart, which was close to the airport, I guess, was a neighborhood market Walmart, which means it was only a grocery store and they wouldn't accept my clothing returns. And considering I leave for Cancun next week and will not have any other time to return it before my return window ends, I guess I have to keep those. So no luck there, but got my $50 back for the red dress so that saga can end. Yay! Now where I leave off is I hung out with Jake for a little bit, he came back to my apartment, and then now we're off to dinner. We came to Trejo's Cantina for dinner. We're splitting a margarita flight. Jake got some tacos, Rocky got a burrito, and I got a quesadilla. Okay. So we're headed to the festival. I think we're too late to see any of the free performances, but that's okay. We're in North Hollywood and there's just signs everywhere for it. So cool. So, yep, we missed the free performers, but we're going to see what else is in here. Let's check it out. <laughs> there's a bunch of Netflix themed interactive booths. So this one's Sex Education and Cobra Kai. This one is Love is Blind, so funny. Then they have a mini golf with Netflix themed holes. Let's go see what's in this museum of comedy. It's kind of just a bunch of memorabilia from famous comedians. Here's some SNL memorabilia and little knickknacks and stuff. Oh my god, do you guys watch I uh, Think You Should Leave on Netflix? It's a damn flash shirt. So funny. Rocky, did you see this? Oh my god, Rocky! It's the it's the mask from it! Uh, I can't fucking breathe in this. It's too fucking hot in here. <laughs> Look, it's Dave Chappelle's jumpsuit from his specials. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. You guys, it's Sako from Bo Burnham's Inside. We're geeking out. And some other little silly comedy stuff. Super cool. We're probably gonna check this out again tomorrow. <laughs> Smile. Wave, everybody. Good 
good morning. We've decided to hike to the Griffith Observatory today. Although the boys forgot their Vax cards, even though I told them to bring them, so we won't be able to go inside. <laughs> but a gross day. We made it to the top. It is a busy day here at the Griffith Observatory, and it is smoggy out. Yeah, it's all dirt and mush. The original yeah. ecosystem of Southern California. Nailed it. Oh, look. Too bad we can't go inside. <laughs> We're back here at the Netflix Fan Fest again because we had such a good time. So let's see what's going on this morning. Go on, make a move. Even if it falls, I'll get it on camera. Nope. <laughs> Jenga! All right, we were given free shots. So let's drink some. What is it also? I think it's tequila. Yes. Oh, nice. Laughter. 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 Wimps. Oh, nailed it. Did you get it? I made it like that. <laughs> Right now we are getting ready for tonight's show, which was my pick and the show I'm most excited for because it's the standout LGBTQ celebration night of comedy at the Greek theater. Now I'm most excited for this one because the Greek theater is one of my most favorite venues in all of LA. I go to a lot of shows, a lot of concerts, and I love the outdoor venue of the Greek theater and the Hollywood Bowl. So super excited because we're gonna picnic beforehand, probably do some like picnicky activities like spike ball or board game, something fun like that. And then it's like an, a beautiful outdoor kind of space and it just makes for a lovely Los Angeles night. Reason number two is because this is a historic night where it is gonna be the largest gathering of LGBTQ performers in terms of comedy all in one show so really excited for that it's supposed to be just like a bunch of queer people all getting together and laughing so I'm wearing my rainbow shirt to represent either the B or the Q of LGBTQ I'm not even quite sure and then when it gets colder I'll wear my other rainbow sweater I thought about doing like my makeup super fun but we're kind of running out of time because I've just been taking so long doing all these other activities that I'll probably just keep it simple but we're meeting up with some other friends of mine. We're gonna go pick up some sandwiches for our picnic part. And then we're just gonna enjoy the night. So I'll probably vlog like more of the show and not so much of the picnics. I don't wanna, I wanna enjoy my time with my friends as you guys know, but really excited, really excited. It feels like a, a pre-Pride before Pride actually comes. Cause I'm gonna be out of town for Pride this year, which bums me out, but this will be a funny way to make up for it. A night of comedy. So let's go to the standout LGBTQ comedy show. The only people I can really relate to are the rich people. Don't you feel a little bit gayer tonight? Just a little bit more gay? And girls, they want to have fun. Gays, oh gays, just want to have fun. Yes, fortune. Yes, 
misfortune. This is all you, baby. It is the next day and we had so much fun at the standout event. I don't think I've ever been surrounded by that many queer people all in one space. It was such a welcoming and inclusive environment and it was also just so inspiring and so fun. I loved all the backdrops that they had. Again, as we progress through this festival, their branding has gotten so much better and it feels more like a big festival as opposed to just like these standalone comedy events. So that was really cool. I will say something that you don't really get a chance to see in the vlog is they had so many performers. I think there were like 15 to 20 different guest speakers and comedians that performed at this event, that their main headliners were Wanda Sykes and Rosie O'Donnell, that they didn't get any time to perform. It was actually really bizarre. So Wanda Sykes comes out at like 10.50 p.m. and she says, okay guys, like, sorry, they're telling me I'm running out of time here. So she tells like a couple of jokes and then goes, well, I guess that's all I have time for. Thanks guys, and leaves. And then Rosie O'Donnell comes on and does the same thing where she's like, sorry guys, I guess we have to be out of here in 10 minutes, but like, here's a couple of jokes and then they were done. And so it was so anticlimactic because like, here we are waiting for these big headliners who like, we all grew up knowing and idolizing as these queer icons that it's like, wow, we didn't even get a chance to hear from them. So that was kind of odd because it's like, you have this big festival, you have like this huge historical event in terms of it being like the gayest comedy show ever. And then you kind of like cut it off the end because people need to be out by 11 p.m. It was just kind of odd, but I guess it makes sense. People work and they need to be off by 11. So kind of odd, kind of ended the night on a weird note, uh, but it was still such a cool time. So fun, so much fun with my friends that it was definitely one for the books. Not my favorite show from all of them. And I think I might do a main channel video of like my overall review of all of these shows. I think Neil Brennan was my favorite. He had the most intimate setting and I think the overall best set. The standout show I think had so many performers and they each only got like a tight five that you didn't get to really see their whole like personality and their entire encompassing version of humor. Uh, I don't even think that made sense, but I don't know. I don't know, those are my thoughts. I thought all of the shows were amazing for this whole festival. Such a cool festival. Highly recommend if it comes back next year that you guys all check it out. In terms of what we have left for the week, I think I am just gonna end the vlog here. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, so I'm gonna set up like a beautiful brunch for my mom and my dad's coming over. And then we have another soccer game. But since I've already included that in the vlog, I won't include another soccer bit. You, you can look forward to that in another vlog because we have lots of games coming up this season. But that's gonna be it for this jam-packed week filled with fun activities and events in Los Angeles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It has been such a fun week, but honestly, I am tired, still a little bit under the weather, but it was so worth it. But I thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you on the next vlog. Toodles!